Today we're working on our obliques. Let's hit it. Today we're working all obliques, the muscles on the side of the abs that are primarily responsible for controlling rotation of the core in the trunk. We're going to be training them by training with rotation rather than just doing side dips up and down. Everything is ground based today, meaning we need no equipment at all, just a mat, towel if you want it, and some water. We'll be using five exercises today, and of course a mystery bonus to top us all off. Starting us out, we've got twisted T's, oblique crunches or V crunches, one arm leg plank switches, scissor bicycles, and side plank dips. So getting into it right away, we'll start with a minute of twisted T's, how this will look. Down in Sphinx on your mat, and we'll be rotating into a sidearm plank, holding for about a second, and then switching to the other side. We've got a full minute here, so pace yourself. We'll start in about, uh, let's say, five, four, three, two, one. Starting up with the twisted T's. So remember, hold for about a second, and then switch sides. Your goal for these should be to keep yourself in a straight line here. Don't allow your hips to sink. Don't allow yourself to dip down. As for your feet, you can spread the feet for a little bit easier at time, or keep them stacked like we have them currently. This is a spread foot, this is a stacked foot. We've got 30 seconds to go, meaning we're halfway done. Keep those hips elevated. Keep the core strong. Remember, we're working the obliques, the sides of the abs here. This is where you should be feeling it predominantly. Preventing that dip down, preventing our body from rotating. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Let's finish on the other side just to keep it nice and even. All right. So up next, we've got our oblique crunches or oblique Vs. Two ways to do this. One is more difficult than the other. So your standard oblique crunch is going to be fingertips by your ears, elbow comes up and touches the hips. To make this a little bit more difficult, you can add a V component to it, like Christina's doing, by lifting the legs, coming up and trying to touch the side of your leg with that elbow. Try and make contact as best as you can. The Vs are a little bit more challenging because they involve, obviously, the legs, but a little bit more of the lower abs as well. But I think that's what we'll both be doing. Keep it interesting. We'll do 30 seconds per side. We're going to be starting on our right side here in three, two, hit. Now, if you start with one, like the Vs here, and decide it's too much, just drop it. You don't need to quit the exercise. But you're already halfway done. Whatever you do, make sure you try and make contact, whether it's with your leg, if you're doing the V's, or your hip, if you're doing the standard crunch. We've got three, two, and done on this side. Starting next on the other side, rotate around here. We'll get going. Five, four, three, two, one, hit it. So if you did V's for one side, even if it was just for a few seconds, start with V's on the next side just to keep it even. But be mindful of which side was more tired, which side was more difficult, so you can work on that later. You want a nice even balance. But like before, if it gets too tiring, just drop it. Don't abandon the exercise. We're only here for three. Two, one. All right, two down, three to go. Up next we have the one arm leg plank. Now this will be a little bit of a challenge if your balance is uh, <laughs> complicated. We'll be down in Sphinx. To make this a little easier, you can be up in upright plank. Keep your feet about hips width apart. And we'll start by raising my left arm, and then our right leg will come up. 
So we'll do this for about a minute as well. There you go. We'll do coordinated switches together. <laughs> Don't fall on your face. It's all right, it makes it interesting. That's why we got mats. And as Christine was demonstrating, you could do this in the upright or down in the Sphinx. Sphinx is a little bit more challenging in terms of your balance. All right, let's get going here in five, four, three, two, left arm up, right leg up. Now prevent yourself from twisting open here. Keep yourself down. Left arm down, right leg down. We'll switch, right arm up, left leg up. Go ahead and switch. Again, try and prevent yourself from rotating here. We are resisting that rotation. Switch. We're halfway done. Switch. Last 10 seconds or so, we'll try another challenge. Let's go ahead and switch once more. All right, come back down to neutral plank here. What I want you to do is lift your left arm and your left leg. Hold that for three to five seconds. Once you get that, come back down. We'll do right arm, right leg, and prevent yourself from opening up here. Try and keep yourself tilted down. All right. A little bit more of a challenge. If that's something you can't do, that's all right. Your scene has collapsed. <laughs> We'll give ourselves a brief break here before we go into the next two exercises, but we will continue moving just to demonstrate. So up next we've got our scissor bicycle. Similar to a standard bicycle, which is this, but with our scissor bicycle, our legs are straight, our arms are straight, making an X with our body. The right arm will meet the left leg over top of us. What I want you to focus on is getting your shoulder blade off the ground as you come up and getting as close as you can to touching your shoe. It can be ankle, it can be shin. You don't need a completely straight leg here. Flexibility is a problem. You can bend your leg. Try and make it as close to mid-body as you can. We'll be doing this for about 30 seconds, which is enough time for us to end our break here. We will get going and we'll say five, four, three, Two, right leg, left foot, go. Switch, 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 switch. Wait for the calls. Switch, switch, switch. On your own for the last five seconds, go. That's more like seven seconds, but whatever. Two, one, done. All right, nicely done. We've got one exercise to go, which is a two-sider, so call it, call it what you will, one or two exercises. Up next, we've got our side plank dips. So we're starting here. You can do this either in straight arm plank or sphinx. The straight arm here is a little bit more difficult to add extra depth. Coming up into our straight arm plank, completely straight line, and dipping down. You wanna have your feet stacked for added difficulty or spread to make it a little bit easier. Both the feet stacked. Coming down, getting the hips as close to the floor as possible, using the obliques to lift yourself back up. Be mindful to keep your body in a straight line. Try not to wobble and use your back to arch yourself back out of that position. We've got 30 seconds per side here. So we'll get going in another 10 seconds, give everyone a little bit more of a break. Get in position, choose your plank style. Five, four, three, two, hit it. So go at your own pace here. Try and give yourself good depth and good range. If you're fine, on a straight arm plank, you're having difficulty getting down within a couple inches, you can drop the sphinx on that bent arm plank. We're here for five more seconds. So give me another two reps in. Two, one. Snuck another one in. 
Also close to falling over on that one. All right, getting ready on our other side here. Like the last exercise where we switched off, make sure that you are at least starting in the same style that you were as the first one, just to keep things balanced. Let's get up right here and get going. Five, four, three, two, hit it. Now again, be mindful of your feet. You can have them stacked or split. Try and get a good depth going. Prevent yourself from wobbling like I am right now. As you say it, you do it. <laughs> We're more than halfway in. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and done. Nicely done. But rather than close out, let's finish with another bonus exercise. Just because it's fun. What do we got? Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, okay. So for these, We'll be laying on our back. You want to do a bent leg or straight leg? Straight leg. Straight leg. Fun. All right. Just like curve so everyone can see me. Legs will be as straight as you can get them. If your hamstrings are not that loose, you can keep them slightly bent. We'll be going down at about a 45 degree angle and holding our legs there. Don't go so low. About 45 degrees. We'll make the call with the switch. And we'll go to the other side. What do you want to say? A minute, 30, 45? 45. Two minutes. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Sorry. 45 minutes. Seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. I need sure to specify. <laughs> I know you. Yeah. All right, so we'll get going here. We'll say another seven seconds or so. End on the, uh, what, 25 for us? All right. <laughs> I don't know. Three, two, one, hit it. Down to the left, 45 degrees, and hold it. Switch. 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 Got about 30 seconds left. Switch. Remember not to drop too low. Switch. But at the same time, don't just hang at the top. Switch. Switch. Approaching our last 15 seconds here. Switch, try and keep it back on the floor. Prevent yourself from turning with your legs moving. Switch, drive the rotation. Switch, from the obliques. Last side, switch. And down. That was pretty close to 45 seconds. Proud of myself for keeping time. <laughs> close enough. Thank you guys for joining us. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. As always, if there's anything you'd like to see us do in the future, please leave a comment down below. Before we sign off, so we've got a challenge too, don't we? We do. What is it? Uh, we think you should get outside because <laughs> we're all quarantined. <laughs> but you do need that vitamin D. You do need to get it at least 15 minutes of sun a day. Uh, don't forget to wear SPF, you know, uh, some sunblock to make sure that you don't get burnt. That's also uh, you know, good health tip. <laughs> Finger gun seat, no, it's serious. <laughs> so Take it away! That's this moment we are still in quarantine if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> so as Christine mentioned, do make sure you get outside and do so with some protection on just to keep safe. No matter where you guys are on your fitness journey, you'll always with us. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye.